Hello friends, and ready here, back with another horror update. I got four titles for you today, so I'm just going to get started. Alright, first up, we have VHS. This is my most recent pickup. Um, before I get into this, I'm going to state one thing. Um, there's two sub-genres of horror films I'm not that fond of, and uh, they are the anthology horror film and the found footage horror film. And with VHS, it's a twofer for me because it's a found footage horror anthology film. So, um, alright, uh, so I'll get into the plot a little bit here. It's about uh, a group of guys that get hired to uh, break into a house and find a special videotape. But um, the weird thing is these guys, for some reason, like they're trying to make money off the internet doing videos, so they actually film their crime. I don't know what they're planning to do with it. I mean, filming your crime is kind of stupid. But uh, but anyway, so they find a whole shitload of videotapes. And they also find a room that um, that's filled with TVs and uh, a couple of VCRs. So they have to basically watch the tapes to see if they can find the one they're looking for. They're told they'll know what they'll, they're looking for when they find it. Alright, so um, basically there's five stories in the in this anthology and of course um, the videos that they're watching are also um, home videos so it's a found footage film within a found footage film um, the first story is probably going to be the one that's the most popular with most people and it's about a group of guys that um, get their hands on uh, some spy glasses that record video so they decide to go out and try to make a porno well, like, a porn, like a porn film with uh, some girls they meet at a bar. Um, this one was really hard to watch for me because the guys were so obnoxious the whole time. Like, I guess it's probably true when you got young guys that are drinking and they're you're having way too much fun. But um, but it wasn't until the shit is the fan and the last sort of story that it actually became enjoyable for me. But because it was really really hard to watch that one. The second story. Um, I think it was directed by Ty West, and it was about a couple that's on vacation, and then they meet as, like, a stranger or something. That one was kind of a, a weird one, too, but that, the, the problem I had with that one was that, um, uh, was that the story, there wasn't enough backstory as to what was going on. Obviously, there was more going on to what they were saying. There was, like, little hints there and here and there about the couple that they, I guess they were having some kind of problems, but you don't really find out what it was or anything on that one. Um, I'm trying to remember what the third one was. The third one, I think, yeah, the third one was probably my favorite. And that one, the subtitle of that one was Tuesday the 17th. And that was about a group of kids that go out to the woods. And uh, the one girl basically tricks her friends to get out there and she has her own reasons. I won't get into it, but that one was probably the coolest out of the uh, five uh, stories. And then the fourth one was a Skype story, and that one was kind of like a ghost type one, where a girl uh, is talking to her long distance boyfriend on Skype, and then there's all this ghostly stuff happening. That one was alright. And then the final story was about uh, a group of guys that were going on Halloween night, and the one guy is actually dressed up as uh, as one of those bears, you know, the security cam bears, or nanny cam bears, with the, you know. And then, of course, the guy went all the way. He put the bear suit on, and he also put, like, a special hidden camera on it. This was actually a really cool idea, because usually in found footage movies, when you got someone holding the camera, at some point, you know, they really should drop the camera and run when, the, when like, whatever starts happening happens. But this, the camera was, like, strapped to him, so there was, you know, there was no real reason to drop the cam. He probably forgot he was even filming once uh, things turned bad in that story. Um... I actually ended up enjoying this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it that much. Like, the idea of the videotape sold me off the bat. But, you know. Um, the only main problem I had with this thing is overall was that um, when you when dealing with the found footage movies, it's um, the, the beginning is usually hard for me to watch because uh, it's usually kind of boring. You know, it's like watching real home videos. You know, people messing around with the camera. And with an anthology format, the, it happens basically five times in a row, which is kind of like really, really annoying. But I don't, I enjoyed it overall. Like, um, I'm not sure, like, I don't think everyone's going to like this movie, but 
I like that enough. I'm happy for the purchase. All right, this is just the, the slip cover here. Here's the uh, Blu-ray slash DVD combo pack. So you, the artwork's the same. And there's the back of it. And there's the inside. This is the uh, Blu-ray. And then there's the VHS copy. All right, let's go on with the rest of the update. My next pickup is also an anthology film, and that's Little Deaths. Now this one is unique as an anthology film to me because, well for me, because um, there's no wraparound story on this. There's three stories, and um, they all deal with couples. Um, the first story, and this one is actually my favorite, it's about um, this upper class couple that preys upon uh, homeless girls. So they basically, they um, give them some money, bring them to the house, and uh, feed them, and then drug them, and then abuse them. This one, of course, um, they find the girl, and they do that, and then there's a twist. I won't get into the twist, but it was my most enjoyable story of the three. The second story in this one was the weirdest, and it was about, uh, it was about a couple, uh, obviously. The one, uh, the girl was an ex-junkie, and um, her boyfriend's a drug uh, dealer, but he actually has an arrangement with this um, doctor, who's basically a mad scientist. And he has um, this guy strapped in the room. And I'll turn it around so you can see a picture of him. Like right there, I don't know if that's showing up or not. And uh, he's strapped in a room, and he has a really long penis. And this is messed up, because like there's like secretions coming off the penis, and they and like these two guys, are, they capture this stuff in the bucket, and then a the doctor makes, uh, he makes pills out of it. But unfortunately, the, the guy's girlfriend is seeing the doctor as a patient, and he starts subscribing these pills to the to his girlfriend. So, that one was alright. And then the last story, um, the last story is about um, a couple. And the, um, the thing about this story is it's a really weak story, and it's not even horror. It's basically this one guy has a really shitty girlfriend and she's really um, really bad to him the whole way through the story you know like cheats on him like humiliates him and all degrades him and all that stuff until he can't take it anymore um, and then he gets his revenge um, the thing about that the way these stories are structured they probably should have made it the first story and then the one in the middle could have stayed in the middle because it's really the weakest story and I think I would have enjoyed the anthology more if they had done it, if they had ended on the strongest story instead of end on the weakest story. Like, um, I wouldn't recommend, I'd maybe, if, you, if this is on, like, Netflix, but I wouldn't recommend um, spending any serious money on this one. And, of course, this artwork here, this girl with the, the shards of glass or steel stuck in her back, that she's not even in the movie. It's a shame. It's a really great image, you know. So this is basically just going to be for decoration for me. All right, let's go on to the third pickup. It's a horrible way to die, and this one was directed by one of the directors that was involved with um, VHS. I forgot uh, to mention that VHS was a collaborative effort of several directors. This is the second video I've done of this, and I messed it up both times with that. Um, this movie is about a girl who used to date a serial killer. And she's got alcohol problems. And I think she actually had the problems even when she was with the serial killer. And she's trying to get her life back together. But the serial killer um, breaks out of uh, prison and he's coming after her. But she has no idea. And you would think someone would have warned her because she was the one that turned him in. You know, when he broke out, you know, but she has no idea that he's coming to get her. Um, the thing about this movie is that, like, you guys heard of, like, Shaky Cam. This movie... I would describe it as being shot with a wandering cam. And I'll show I'll give you an idea of how most of the scenes look in this movie. It's like the camera's like all over the place, like the like the cinematographer got like distracted or something or got tired of, you know, keeping the camera in place. So it just kinda moves around like that. And I think they're trying to do something artsy, but at the same time it's like just hold the damn camera still. Um What saved this film for me though was the ending. And like there's a twist. And I won't get into it because, um, you, know, you know, it's better if you're going to see the movie that you don't know, have an idea what it's going to be. But it saved it for me. Without the twist, I probably wouldn't have liked this movie very much. All right, so let's go on to my uh, fourth and final uh, pickup. 
and that's uninhabited. And this movie is about a, a couple that go to a deserted island to spend the week. And it's like they have this guy that's giving them like a one of those satellite phones, and he said, "Look, if there's any problems, you know, just give me a call, and I'll come back and get you." So, um, to me, it, it, the whole idea sounds really bad from the beginning. Like the idea of going on a deserted island out in the middle of nowhere, like they're in the ocean nowhere, not even like an island by a you know by a, a rural area and the lake in that. It's like out in the ocean. Um, of course, this is one of those movies where they think that they're alone, but they're not. Um, if you do des decide to see this movie, don't read the back, because the back gives away uh, a major plot point, which is a shame, because I would have enjoyed the movie a little bit more if I had not uh, known what the plot point was, because I was thinking it was going to be one thing, and I read the back, and then I realized that I was wrong, so it spoiled it for me. Um, but I will warn you guys, though, that with this uh, with this film, that it is um, it's a, it's slowly paced. So if you're not, if you don't like slow paced movies, you probably won't enjoy this one. But if you know if you like slow burners, I think you would enjoy this one. All right, guys, this will probably be my last update video until Christmas, um, and hopefully I'll actually get some movies this year. Last year I got only got one movie, and it was an Adam Sandler movie, and it wasn't. I don't even like Adam Sandler movies, but it was the only movie I got. So hopefully I get something cool. But I'll probably do at least one more update before this year is out. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.